Hello everyone, what's up? This is Morseza and I welcome you all to the first episode of my C-Shop learning tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through uh, all the features and the details of programming with C-Sharp. C-Sharp is an object-oriented programming language which uh, helps us create uh, applications for a wide range of uses. For example, we can use C-Sharp to create desktop applications. Uh, or mobile applications or web servers, games, and uh, so on and so forth. In order to be able to write and uh, compile and run c -sharp code, you need an IDE or Integrated Development Environment. I'm going to use Visual Studio. You can also use VS Code, but in this tutorial, I have decided to work with Visual Studio 2022. Along the way, I will uh, tell you about the different features of Visual Studio as well. You do not need to know anything about C-Sharp or Visual Studio in order to uh, watch these videos. Uh, we're going to have a very hands-on approach. I'm going to spend most of my time in Visual Studio. I have not actually prepared any slides or uh, whatsoever. So I'm going to tell you all the details and everything you need to know in Visual Studio. Uh, I really recommend that you uh, follow along with me during the course. Just watching the videos will not help you a lot. You just need to get your hands dirty and uh, start writing code if you want to uh, improve and learn the concepts that we are going to uh, talk about. I'm not going to uh, take you through the installation process of Visual Studio. Uh, I assume you already know how to do that. If not, I'm probably going to, you know, post a video about installing Visual Studio and all the features that you need. As I told you, you can use C-Sharp as a very popular programming language, object-oriented programming language, to develop a wide range of applications like mobile applications, web applications, desktop applications. We're going to use .NET Core in this tutorial. Uh, you do not need to know anything about .NET Core or .NET Framework. C Sharp was first, induced, was first introduced in 2002 and the latest version at the time of recording this video is C Sharp 11. Uh, learning C Sharp is going to be you know, a lot of fun uh, and uh, it will be very useful for you as a developer. So I highly recommend that you follow along the course. Uh, as you can see here, I have Visual Studio uh, right up and we're going to spend most of our time here. Right now, I do not have any, you know, projects. If you, I go to this part, this part solution explorer and I pin this window, you see that I do not have any projects or solutions. Uh, our project is going to show up here in the next video. We're going to, you know, create a project. We've got different menus for different things. For example, we have Git integrated right in Visual Studio. We're not going to talk about Git in this tutorial, but I will probably make a series so that you can learn how to, you know, use Git, which is a very important, you know, tool for uh, software development. Here we've got some, you know, windows like, for example, we've got live unit testing. Again, in this tutorial, we're not going to talk about unit testing, but I will probably create, uh, you know, a playlist for teaching uh, unit testing and uh, there are a lot of features in Visual Studio that can make your life easier as a developer and really help you to write code, edit code and debug your code. Uh, of course, there are other editors that you can use. For example, you can write your C -sharp code in Notepad and then compile that Notepad and run your application. But that will make your experience really, really difficult. So we're going to, uh, you know, stick to Visual Studio and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. And I promise you after watching this course thoroughly, you will become a very, uh, you know, competent C Sharp developer. So uh, we're going to finish this video right here and we're going to continue with our next video uh, during which I will uh, create my first project and I will run that project and, uh, you know, uh, tell you about the output. So I hope you have the enthusiasm to follow along and watch uh, the next videos. If you uh, like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends. 
Take care and I will see you in the next video.